299 kilometers stretched out in front of the riders ahead of the first monument classic of the season, Milan San Remo, with the riders departing. And indeed, it was a group of eight riders that stretched their legs clear of the main peloton. Seven and a half minutes the advantage of the octet out front as Julian Alaphilippe puts uh, a declining quick step teammate on the head of the peloton to help chase down the group up front. Tanko van der Horn was the last man standing from the breakaway group as the heavy hitters started to assemble in the closing stages and approaching the final assault of the Poggio was still a large group intact as they reached the final 10 kilometers. Julian Alaphilippe, the 2019 champion and indeed the reigning world champion began the salvo of attacks the reigning Milan San Remo champion Wet van Aert alive to the danger Caleb Ewan of the Lotus Sudal squad ever present close to the front on what was a good day for the Aussie sprinter Matthew van der Poel working hard to stay close to the head of affairs and it was a select group over the top of the Poggio within sight of the finish line more riders will get involved as they work their way towards the conclusion pretty much everyone staying upright and approaching the foot of the final climb inside the final three kilometers Jasper Stuyven of Trek Segafredo taking his leave of the rest the 28 year old from Leuven in Belgium chased down by Soren Krau of Team DSM but uh, while those duo up front managed to hold off the rest behind Stuyven recovered enough to launch an attack and the baying pack behind, led home by Caleb Ewan for a second podium finish in the event. Not quite able to get on terms with Jasper Stuyven, who made it a 22nd victory in Milan San Remo for Belgium. Second successive win for Belgium. And the summit of his career to date. Glorious success for the 28-year-old. Jasper, this morning, did, did you tell your teammates that you would do that? No, of course not. Uh... But, uh, I mean, there's, there's three guys who are really strong. Everyone knows. I think everyone talked about it. And uh, that didn't, uh, yeah, didn't make, uh, we were not going to race for the win. And uh, we, had, uh, we had a plan to go for it. We had a plan to, to just try to race for the win, to be up there. And then uh, yeah, I, felt, I felt actually really good all day. And the final was, was going well. I, I was there on the Poggio, but then of course there was a lot of fast guys. So uh, I know that, yeah, I have to try all or nothing, which I did, and uh, it was good because if I go to the line, I maybe finish around fifth to tenth place, and uh, I prefer to to go all in and end up with the empty hands, and uh, or go all in and uh, take the biggest victory of my career, and uh, maybe eight eight times out of ten. We'll have nothing, but those two times or even one time, I have everything, and uh, yeah, it's it's amazing. I I think the boys put me in the perfect position on the on the important parts of the parkour, and uh, yeah, actually was feeling well, and then uh, was a good gap, and uh, I was the legs were completely empty at the end, but if you win by by one minute or one centimeter, it's enough.